Hey guys, Carla Vijay here. Today we're going to be talking about proxies for storm chasers. In other words, anemometers. So what we have set up here is an anemometer. So before I start teaching about all the proxies, go ahead and get your anemometer built. Make sure that the body of the anemometer that's going to be spinning is all built off of the prop that can be spinning. Uh, well, what, what that means is all of this has to be one piece, otherwise it's not going to work. So to start off with the proxies, we want to find the main fitting that's going to be the actual anemometer itself. We're going to right click it and make, we're going to go down to modifiers and select proxy. Uh, whenever you're starting, it's just going to be a proxy. It's not going to be anything simple. It's just going to be simple. So come down here to variable name and click the three dots. There's a lot of them. We're going to set parent variables. We're going to click that. So it's going to alphabetical order and angle offset. That's what we want. So it's nothing's happening. It's not spinning yet. And we're going to come down to easy setup. And you see minimum and maximum. So minimum, we want to be negative 80 and maximum to be 80 except that it's on the wrong axis because on axis it's currently on x we don't want that so we'll try y and there we go it's spinning on the right axis you'll have to come back up to the original part and reset the, the angles there we go but it's spinning slow so we can come down to input multiplier and set that to 2 it's a little bit fast, but we're going to add another proxy to this to randomize it. We're going to right click and a, a modifiers and select a new proxy. This time, under variable name, we're going to set it to, if I come down here, to maximum. We'll set the minimum to zero and the maximum to 80. And then we'll clone this by right clicking and selecting clone and change the variable name to minimum except that the max we're going to change to negative 80. Now, we're going to change the input multiplier on those to 2. You see how it's a little bit randomized? Right there. That's just exactly what we want. If you want to, you could speed this up and change this to 10. No, oh, see, I set it to 0 by accident. I mean, you, I don't think you really want that. But you can set that to like 5. We'll set it to do two and it'll be slow. You can mess around with it as much as you want. So now we gotta make this fan spin. So well, the fan, the little, the little propeller here. So we're gonna right click, modifiers, and add another proxy. Variable name. And this one we just want to set to just angles. This one's gonna be slightly different. We're going to come down to expression and we're gonna change the expression. So this time we could do null null comma space null comma space null that's going to set it to zero for x y and z so we want it to refunct so we'll try setting it to the y-axis so to set that we're going to say time open parenthesis close parenthesis the uh, star uh, otherwise shift int the number eight on your keyboard and then we're going to set it to whatever we want so we're going to set it to negative 500 comma and then space null it's not spinning on the right axis so we're going to try this again we'll try it on the x-axis this time see how we just enter it like that and there we go it's spinning correctly we'll come up here and change the angles back to where they were make sure that that's all set up and there you go you now have your anemometer spinning uh, if you have any questions at all, just feel free to leave them in the comments. I thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.